In the year 2000, both the Natural History Museum (NHM) and the nearby Victoria and Albert Museum (VNA) were forced to make plans to completely renew the heating system, which over the years had become uneconomical, inefficient, and in need of refurbishment. Vital Energy has successfully provided a sustainable and innovative turnkey energy solution for both museums, designing, building, financing, operating and maintaining a new tri-generation heating system to deliver electricity, heating and cooling to the museums. What's more, the scheme is guaranteed to save NHM at least half a million pounds each year over a period of 15 years. This was a highly complex project, executed within stringent time and quality constraints by Vital Energy's own team of expert staff. The museums have critical heating, cooling and power requirements 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, providing the best possible conditions to preserve the condition of world-renowned and irreplaceable national collections. Any major alterations to these systems have been designed to ensure a robust and reliable utility supply is maintained. In addition, every aspect of the refurbishment has been engineered to function at the optimum operating point, taking great care to size every aspect of the system to meet the exact needs of the building. The Energy Center is located in a cavernous basement beneath the Natural History Museum. Originally, there were four dank water tube boilers. The new design utilizes two of the four boilers. The other two have been removed. That space is now occupied with two absorption chillers, a combined heat and power generator and a waste heat boiler. This is the refurbished energy center as it looks today, with the two remaining refurbished boilers on the left providing a backup for the new tri-generation system on the far right. The combined heat and power engine, or CHP, is housed in a soundproofed enclosure directly beneath the museum's library, generating 1,800 kilowatts of electricity, with a generating efficiency of 42% and 44% for heat. It's envisaged that it will run for an excess of 5,500 hours a year and deliver a minimum of 8,875 megawatt hours of electricity. Next to the CHP enclosure is the waste heat boiler, which utilizes the exhaust gases produced from the CHP generators to heat both museums. Two new absorption chillers have been installed, generating 750 kilowatts of cooling, each supplied with hot water at 95 degrees Celsius. Chilled water is sent out at 6 degrees Celsius along a new district cooling network. Vital Energy installed 1,000 meters of district cooling pipework, linking all the existing distributed chiller plant rooms to the energy center. In addition, the recently constructed Darwin Center building has been connected to the district cooling network, saving on the installation of separate dedicated chilling plant and space that this would have necessitated. The two cooling towers, which are an integral part of the heat rejection circuit for the chillers, utilize the flat roof on the northeast tower. The system incorporates plate heat exchangers and pumps in the plant rooms of both museums that keep the hot water flowing. Originally, each plant room had two calorifiers. One of these has been removed and replaced with a plate heat exchanger and the other calorifier has been retained as a backup. Between the two absorption chillers and the boilers are the electric panels and variable speed drives that control the pumps, circulating water to deliver the required heat temperatures. The whole system is controlled and activated by a central computer. The two remaining 25-year-old 12 megawatt dank water tube boilers have been mechanically and electrically refurbished. The boilers provide heat backup and each has been fitted with a low NOx gas-fired burner. If their gas supply was unavailable, they can run on oil from a large reserve beneath the boiler house floor. If there is planned or unplanned maintenance on the new CHP, then the boilers, which are linked to the computerized system by their control panel, are automatically ignited and will adequately supply the heat to both museums until the main system is running again. The Natural History Museum's existing tall chimneys are used to discharge the exhaust gases from the CHP generator and the boilers 
But incredibly, the new system saves 1,800 tons of CO2 emissions annually. Combining environmentally friendliness with economic attractiveness, this new tri-generation heating system has improved the outlook for both of these high-profile museums. From the now out-of-date plant and equipment that had to be continuously manned, to a modern, energy-efficient scheme utilizing innovative technology. The NHM building might date back to Victorian times, but it now houses a state-of-the-art energy center fit for the 21st century.